Well, I know you guys didn't expect me to be on another channel, yet here we are. I'm not going to talk about it right now though, but the least you could do right now is to subscribe and watch my actual content as well. Yeah, I'm showing a little too hard right now, so I'll just move on to the core video. We all know about Nickelodeon, don't we? If you subscribe to Medora's channel, there is no doubt that you've seen some of Nick's content, intentionally or unintentionally. Which iconic series like Spongebob, Spongebob, and Spongebob, that's basically all they air nowadays. One can see why their influence has impacted many people's childhoods. Throughout the four decades on the air, Nickelodeon has made many mistakes that have ruined their image and reputation, with so many of these mistakes becoming infamous within their fandom. In 2013, Nickelodeon would undoubtedly be added one of the worst changes to the schedule, as February 18th of that year launched one of the most controversial programs blocks at the time, Nick Studio 10. Nick Studio 10 was a programming block that aired from 5 to 7 p.m. Eastern Time every weekday. The block focused on live action skits in between episodes of TV shows hosted by 14 actors, Toy Doherty, Noan Grossman, Malika Samuel, and Gabrielle Sen, with occasional guest stars like the Salmon Cat cast. The Nick Studio 10 block consisted of reruns of Spongebob episodes at first, with the Fairy Odd Parents and Monsters from the Aliens being added afterwards. Nick Studio 10's main showcase was live challenges and stunts, while in between episodes of TV shows, which existed, I guess. You can tell that I'm starting for words at this point, but it really can't blame me on this one. The skits were just so bland and interesting that I'm getting a headache trying to come up with things to say about it. I'm sorry, but these skits are so full heavy that I just have to move on at this point. Although the skits are some of the first things someone thinks of when people bring up Nick Studio 10, there's an elephant in the room that I failed to talk about up to this point, the broadcast interruptions. <laughs> The following is an important announcement. I finally got to where I really wanted to talk about in this video, as the interruptions are some of the most interesting scenes that came from this now forgotten block. To be honest, I am still trying to think of a reason as to why any executive would think that adding a random funny clip in the middle of a Spongebob episode would be a good idea. But this is Nickelodeon we're talking about, so don't expect quality decisions. Anyways, Nick decided to add in funny clips, presumably from the internet, in order to spice up a Lego broadcast of TV episodes. These interruptions got hold quickly, which in turn caused some major backlash towards Nick and his programming. Why? Why does why do kids want to see that crap? The black ass got so strong that it overshadowed the Studio 10 block in its entirety, causing the block to go on hiatus in mid June of 2013, but the block never making any appearances on the channel again. Nick Studio 10 only lasted for four months, and it's clearly clear as to why that happened. The skits were cringe, I hate saying that word, and the audience absolutely hated the broadcast interruptions, and for good reasons. In retrospect, I find it surprising that I never heard about this block until recently. As I was a finger viewer of Nickelodeon back then, maybe I did actually watch it and I just forgot about it, which is highly possible due to the short one in the block. Either way, the majority of the skits and interruptions created for this block have been lost over time, which isn't surprising to say the least. The block was hated during its run and forgotten after its indefinite hiatus, so it wouldn't be in the priorities of viewers to record the footage of the block when it was on the air. Speaking of lost media, I'm editing a lost media related video on my channel, so look forward to that. I'm sorry, I just felt like showing. Next to your 10 will always be remembering the faint memories of the viewers who watched the block. Even if this block was hated, they're at least stuck with this audience to this very day, which is an astounding accomplishment in this day and age. Thank you. 